thematically how wonderful this country is, our troops and military, our great democracy, and uh, great call to patriotism, the success of this administration and opening up so many jobs for individuals, what we've done for veterans. Uh, there's no final form yet, but America will hear the whole speech. They're not going to really wait for people to take one little clause out of it, as was your as was your question today. Why is the RNC handing out tickets? Do you know the Fourth of July is a celebration of this country's independence? Are you aware of that? I am. You are. You know what what happened in July Fourth, seventeen seventy six? Okay, because it doesn't sound like you're even talking about the patriotism that undergirds it. So why is the Republican National Committee uh, giving out tickets to supporters of the president? Why are those doing this? Is, this is a public event. Election. It's open to the public. The public is welcome to come and celebrate our great country, the greatest democracy, uh, the Constitution, all the amendments, not just the First Amendment that seems to only inter interest you only, the Second Amendment, all the others. How much more is it going to cost to put, to have the flyovers of the military aircraft, to bring up tanks, to put them on display? How much more is that going to cost? Is there an estimate for that? Yeah. I don't know. You'd have to ask the DOD, I assume. But if you want a list of the things taxpayers actually pay for that they find to be outrageous, I can give you that too.